This game's writing just makes me smile. Episode 12, War of the Netherworld, Part 1. Ooh, a two-portal. What was that? Well, I say two-portal. It might be more, I don't know. I don't even know how many chapters are in this game, and I'm kind of okay with that. Felt like an earthquake, but they barely ever happen around here. But whenever there's one, something big always happens. <laughs> I wonder what catastrophe will happen this time. Prince, several giant objects have appeared at the Stellar Graveyard, dude! Eh, I'm good not knowing how close I am. That was quick. How many? Dude, there are billions of them! You hear that, Jennifer? The EDF is here to save us! We can go home! Wait, Gordon. You can't be so sure. Even if it was the EDF, why would they send so many ships? Oh, come on, why are you being so pessimistic? It's not like you. Well, why don't we go check it out? I agree. Sitting here won't do any good. All right then, to the Stellar Graveyard. Okay, actually how much money do I have? Uh, 258,000, so yeah, 30,000 a hell is pretty cheap. What could these unidentified objects be? Space battlecruits? Giant robots? Are we entering the sci-fi chapter? Wait, we already had that. Are we entering another sci-fi chapter? It's been a while since the last natural disaster. Let's see, there was a time the king was so happy that the queen accepted his proposal, he knocked over a few mountains. <laughs> Just a few mountains. Not even the big mountains. <laughs> the time when the king was so thrilled that the prince was born, he froze the ocean. The late king has interesting ways of expressing happiness. Or maybe it's standard demon ways and the time the king was so sad because of the queen's passing he split the earth into what wait what okay it's low case so i assume you mean this planet the underworld as opposed to capital e earth which is over there in space somewhere Wouldn't you consider those to be artificial disasters? Oh yeah. Oh, and noticing, uh, wards. Is it me or the humans overshadowing you, Prince? Uh... No, Gothic's human nor not human. No, no, not. It's just you. Let's hope so. I mean, Earth? Etymology-wise does mean walk, or it means... Earth is not just the name of the planet, it's the name of walk. I'm not quite sure how to exactly describe it because it's like, you know, word association. <laughs> yes, the Earth is made up of Earth. My precious memories, the dying wards of the king. I'll protect the prince. Not long after I made that promise, my memories were stolen. I don't know if he knew of my memories, but it was Madeus who stole my memories and plotted to take over the throne. He proposed a deal to me. If I wanted my memories back, I had to kill the prince. It's ironic that in my stolen memories, was my promise to protect the prince. But I had no choice. Yes, and orange is orange, and oranges are orange. Language is fascinating in how 
It's all association. I always love sci-fi stories. Oh good. Goggle. Acknowledge how sci-fi things are getting. Since when did Netherworld open to the public? Kills. It's more fun this way. And uh, let's learn about... And it got this one my staff. Yes, staffs. There was always someone better. You should keep working hard. Well, that's... That's some advice. Yeah, staffs are pretty much just magic boosters, which, hey, considering how utterly powerful Gothic is... Those giant unidentified objects are in still graveyard too. Since you don't know what's there, do whatever tickles your fancy. We have detected giant objects in still graveyard too. I feel great power, Prince. Be careful. There's no power greater than mine. Just relax and wait for my return. So, still graveyard 2 and... Imbolan? I have no idea how you're supposed to actually pronounce that. Okay, so between streams, between streams. Uh, I rearrange all my items again and now Little Hard does not have decent attack, so I don't know what he's doing. War Guard is now a Chaos Knight. I've also... She's been falling behind both attack and intelligence, so I kind of decided, like, you know what? What if I don't? So I basically get, took her innocent... I, that's a terrible sentence, Mark. I took the teacher innocence from the light sable, and I gave it to Gothic. I have a, I'm going to try something different for gameplay for War God. Harry Cupid exists. Don't know what I'm doing with him. Don't know what I'm doing with Edna. Boyd is now Kago, next to in the Samurai class. And she only has 1400 attack. I don't know how, except I know how with equipment. For 402 attack, uh, all those gladiators. I just received this axe. It's a really good axe. Let's see. Undead exists. Thrawn. I... Okay. Only five times, but I tried to get some teacher instance to give to Thrawn's bow to raise her intelligence. I managed to raise it to a thousand. However, her sk skill or power of love really does not heal Good. It does not scale very well. So I decided, hey, let's don't. Which is why I made sure to buy decent amount of recovery items. But hey, you only need healing if you get hit. So clearly the answer is don't get hit. I guess I'll fall for and I'll just have a beast status ailment steal. Gothic is... Kill, good. 1800 intelligence. 606 intelligence on a staff. Given a lot of that is on teacher, 386. I mean, I already have all these teacher instants, so might as well just... But give them to Gothic, she'll make good use of them. And Dragnoon also exists. Pinero also exists. Uh, first playthrough, I... Essentially first playthrough of the Sky game, I have had a, half an idea at best what I'm doing with these characters. Ooh. 
Oh yeah, I also unlock Prinnyland. Will I visit Prinnyland? Uh, maybe later.